How's it going, everyone? This is Jay from TheBearHeads.com here with another review for today. Time to get into this review, you guys. Now, today's beer review is going to be from uh, Sponsor Brewery out of Shiner, Texas, and then Shiner's Hefeweizen. Nice hot day. Nice beer to go in this hot day. It's a 5.4% beer. Now, Shiner says to pour this beer halfway in. Spin it around so you can get the sediment. Pour it on down. Alright. Now, on this bottle, it says in the back, it says, this is a bottle condition with added yeast. It means for our Hepavice to keep brewing until it's open. This unfiltered ale has a cloudy appearance and a silky smooth flavor to properly enjoy. Pour half of the bottle into the glass, which I done. Swore the remainder of the bottle and mix the yeast, which I done. Pour into the glass and enjoy with the wedge of lemon, which I'm not going to enjoy with the lemon because I don't want it to kill the taste. Now, they say the, uh, this is a double fermented uh, it's bottle conditioned, so it's condition it's uh, fermenting in the bottle with uh, clove honeys and yeast, which I got off the website. So let's get to reviewing this. Now the color on this is nice, really really nice. We got about a about a, almost a three finger uh, white fluffy head, creamy creamy white bottom all the way to a dark golden egg yolk uh, yellow. Um, a lot of carbonation coming up, and this is really uh, smoggy and hazy. Definitely nice. The carbonation is just climbing up this really good. So let's uh, get the aromas on this. Definitely getting that lemon zest of the pills. And that nice yeast strain in there. Typical half a white and type smell. So let's get to trying this and cheers, you guys. Wow. That's nice. This one's really nice. Corner of the palate. Middle of the palate. Sides of the palate. Picking up that yeast, that lemon zest, the pills in there. A nice, light, bitter um, feel at the back of the palate, but it blends in so well with the lemon zest that it, the, it's basically the citrus hops. It's nice in this. Nice lacing on the glass. Nice, refreshing beer, really. I uh, just recently reviewed their Shiner Bock. Decent drinking beer. Goes down smooth. I would consider it one of the best Bocks I've tried. But hands down, it was a good one. Um, I consider Shiner as a... It is a craft beer company, but I consider I'm at the low end of the craft beer. They're um, beginner craft beer beers, which is basically what I think is... Um, for craft beer, they're right here compared to companies that are up here that are really experimenting the craft of the masses of beer. And these are just more session beers. They're just for uh, people that want to review craft beer, these are the beers to get from China because they're just craft beers, just real low, smell, easy drinking, easy reviewing, uh, nothing too major about them, but they taste good. And uh, especially the half, it tastes very, very good. And I'm almost done with that. Mouthful is on this. This is a medium body. Definitely getting the carbonation. It sits well on the palate. Very drinkable beer. Out of a 10, man. I can pick up some of the honey in there as well. Out of a 10, I'm going to have to give this one an 8.5. Making this a uh, um, B plus one. B plus beer right here from China. It's been a nice review. It's Jay from TheBeerHeads.com. Visit it on the website. Get some more beer info. Some more beers that we'll be doing. Get us on Facebook at www.facebook.com slash thebeerheads. 
as uh, we're on there, got some stuff we don't post on the website or on YouTube, come check us out, add us. Till the next time, I always say, live, learn, drink. I'm going to enjoy my beer. You guys should do the same.